Well, the Iowa City Community School District has become tonight the latest school district in Iowa to reinstate a mask mandate. And of course, that's after the Iowa State law banning mandates has been temporarily suspended in federal court. Now, board members say they wanted to do everything in their power to slow the spread of COVID-19. With that in mind, let's go live right now to KWW Iowa City Coralville area reporter Travis Breeze. He's live tonight to tell us how parents, Travis, how do they feel really about this latest decision? Ron, parents did speak on both sides of this issue tonight. Some said that a mask mandate is bad for their kids' mental health, while others said their kids would only feel safe at school if masks were required. The school district felt they only had one choice given the rise in cases. I feel relieved that we're able to do, you know, one more layer of mitigation. The Iowa City School Board voted unanimously Tuesday to reinstate a mask mandate. Before doing so, they heard from parents on both sides. I want my kids to be safe. I want them to be in school. One parent said last year's mask mandate brought irreparable harm to her son and their family. My son Dylan, a West High sophomore, wrote what depression means to him to a friend. It's having to wear a mask every day, hoping that somebody will care enough to pull that mask down and see how you really are. My son committed suicide in March of 2021. Another mom said for her kids, mental health is about feeling safe at school, which for her means masks. Now we have 30 kids in my classroom. I am scared. You want to talk about mental health? That's mental health. My kid is scared to go to school. Board President Sean Eyestone says he hears both sides, but the pandemic is serious and they need a community wide response. I don't want to discount them, but you know, this is a societal issue. And so as a society, we have to try and come together to fix it. Board President Eyestone said he realizes this is only a temporary restraining order that's holding back the state law. So he realizes they might have to change course in a month or so. He's really not sure, but he hopes that they will be able to keep this in place long enough to uh, maybe weather the current rise in cases just a little bit better. Better. In Iowa City, Travis Breeze, News 7, KWWL. Now, Travis, thanks for the update tonight, by the way. And the Iowa City mandate goes into effect tomorrow morning at the start of the school day. It does not, interestingly enough, does not apply to athletes who are competing in competition in a sport, but it does apply to the athletes who are on the sidelines, and also it applies to the local fans.